Good afternoon, everyone, and welcome to the Eco UNESCO Young Environmentalists Awards final for 2020. Today is a really, really big day, isn't it? And I'm sure that we're really excited and very, very nervous to find out who the winners are for this year. I'm Tara Stewart and I'm really delighted to be hosting this year's online awards broadcast. I'm a DJ on 2FM and maybe you follow me on Instagram as well and if you do you'll know one of my biggest passions in life is extending the life of cycle of clothing, spreading the good word of sustainability, shopping vintage, shopping depop, shopping charity shops and all that kind of stuff as well. I speak a lot about it on my Instagram and also sometimes at panel discussions but my move from promoting fast fashion to being an advocate for upcycling and reusing your clothes has been a really huge journey for me throughout my whole entire life and I'm sure you're all on your personal journeys as well. So that's why I'm glad to be here with you today. It's such an honor and a pleasure. Whether you're just starting out or maybe you've just started working on to live a more sustainable kind of lifestyle for quite some time, we're all here today just to celebrate each other and the amazing things that we're doing to create a better life and better future for everyone. So, first I'd like to introduce you to Elaine Nevin, who is the National Director with the Eco UNESCO who wants to say a few words. Good afternoon and welcome to the Eco UNESCO Young Environmentalist Awards 2020 and to our first ever Eco Week. I'm delighted you're joining us here today to acknowledge all of our young environmentalists from all across the island of Ireland. This year, we are hosting a very different Young Environmentalist Awards. We don't have an annual showcase or award ceremony, but this is no less an acknowledgement of the wonderful work of young people in environmental protection. This year to celebrate, we've also created a new Eco Week with themes of food, fashion, fitness and future to provide you with inspirational talks, workshops and much more, all accessible from your home. For YEA 2020, we're delighted to have received a fantastic 500 entries from groups of young people aged 10 to 18 from all across the island of Ireland, covering so many important environmental issues, from climate action to biodiversity loss, water pollution and many, many more. You have completed your YA action projects with energy, enthusiasm and creativity and I want to congratulate you on your achievements, especially this year with the challenges the current global pandemic has brought to all of us. We know it hasn't been easy, but you have persevered with your work all the same. Like many, we've had to adapt. So even though we weren't able to host our regional eco dens, we judge projects based on your submissions along with the fantastic one minute videos of your projects that you've created. I'm always so inspired by the wonderful work and so hopeful for our present and future as you demonstrate strength, creativity and this year in particular, great resilience. As Greta Thunberg says, once we begin to act, hope is everywhere and with your actions through the Young Environmental Awards, you give hope. There will be some challenges in the years ahead, we know this. At the moment, one of our most pressing is dealing with COVID-19. Our others are climate action and biodiversity loss and young people recognise this. We now have an opportunity to create a future that is different. A future that embeds the values and actions of the UN Sustainable Development Goals. A future that is green and sustainable. And I believe young people will be demanding this and leading the way with creativity to make our futures brighter. So well done to all of you and congratulations on your achievements. Thank you so much to Elaine. And now before we go on to announce any awards, and I really promise they're coming up very, very soon, I am so delighted to pass you on to the very special guest that we have for you this afternoon. I am so honoured to introduce the first female president of Ireland and passionate advocate of climate justice. It's Mary Robinson. I'm delighted to join ECHO UNESCO for the 2020 Young Environmentalist Awards. I remember doing so last year, but last year was different. It was a wonderful live event in the convention center. This year, it's a virtual event, but I think maybe it's even more important because as young environmentalists with your great projects, you know that we are facing a climate crisis. And now we have a new terrible crisis, the COVID-19 crisis that has changed your life and my life. I'm, you know, cocooned away because I'm of a certain age. You find everything more difficult as young people, but you're learning to adapt with new ways of communicating. You've always been much better anyway on social media, etc. But I want you to think with me about the lessons we can learn from how we are adapting 
to COVID-19. The first lesson is that human behavior collectively matters. You know, we have no vaccine for COVID-19. So if we didn't comply with what the government has asked us to do, we would have many, many more deaths. So we, in our own behavior, are collectively part of the solution. We're staying at home and we're doing our classes or whatever studies virtually um, because we want to protect those more vulnerable like me. We also want to protect the health workers and the care workers and those who perform these special services, many of them low paid cleaners, etc., bringing out the bins, all those services. And so that's the first lesson, human behavior matters. Secondly, science matters. Now, as young environmentalists, you've known this. You've known that we should listen to the science. But as you also know, we haven't been listening enough to the climate scientists. But now we know we have to listen to the health experts. So science matters. Thirdly, government matters. It matters what government policies are. And in fact, when we look back on this, as we will, we'll come out of this and we look back, we will see that bad government, bad leadership, because governments didn't take seriously or delayed or thought about their own future rather than what they should be thinking about, will end up with more deaths for their people and more people infected. And that will be a cruel lesson when the time comes. And compassion matters. We're seeing, and I'm sure you're very aware of it in your neighborhoods, in your communities all over Ireland, we're seeing a neighborliness. But it's not just in Ireland. Community is helping those who are vulnerable. You know, we're seeing postmen call it uh, old people's homes where they're a bit isolated just to make sure they're okay. We're seeing people come together to provide food parcels, to provide um, support for those who are more vulnerable, caring about the other. Why? Because when we're suffering, and believe me, we're not suffering equally. This is not a great leveler. Um, COVID-19 actually uh, exacerbates the inequalities, but it also, as I said, brings out the compassion and the neighborliness. And uh, so uh, what we're seeing is that when people suffer, and we're all suffering, though not equally, uh, it actually makes us more open to the suffering of others. That's a very important lesson in life. Uh, it makes us more have more empathy, have more compassion, and that is really important. So I think we can you know, really think as young environmentalists and old people like me, spending a lot of time talking about climate justice, we can recognize that there are lessons that hopefully will help us when we deal with this crisis, which will pass, and have the looming urgent climate crisis even more on top of us and needing even more leadership and guidance. So I look to you, young environmentalists, I look to you to remember the great Irish proverb, it's our scahela a warren nadini. It's in each other's shadow or shelter that we flourish. We need each other, we need the solidarity of each other. We need you to use the enterprise you've used for your awards um, to help us to move forward. And actually, I'm going to tell you a secret. The day of your awards, the 21st of May, happens to be my birthday. So you can actually wish me a virtual happy birthday on the day if you wish. And I will be with you in spirit on that day. And I hope you really enjoy the virtual way in which you will receive your awards. Well, thank you so much for those thoughtful words from our former president, Mary Robinson. It's great to hear the faith that she has in your enterprising ability to take action and to make a difference in the world. It's also her birthday today, so if you want to give any birthday love to Mary Robinson, make sure you say happy birthday to her and tag us on social media and I promise we'll make sure that she sees it. In fact, we're obviously really, really sad that we can't be here face to face, I can't see your face. Um, in person and we can't present you these awards in person so I want to see you all taking part in this t this afternoon and make sure you share the love on social media you can maybe take a selfie or take a picture of you watching the live stream right here and make sure you hashtag eco week 2020 so that we can see it and we can share the love so now I'll be announcing the junior and senior winners in a nine main categories of the YEA then I will go on to announce the special awards, including the People's Choice Award. And after that, if I had a drum roll sound, I'd play that right now, but I don't. The Super Junior Award, and finally the overall winners. So make sure you stay tuned for the whole show. We've got some really exciting stuff to get through. First, before we get stuck into it, and I promise we're almost there. First, some important housekeeping. So make sure you listen closely. This is really exciting. 
we have trophies for you. They were made especially by for you by Creative Shed in Kildare. They're from a mixture of bog, oak, and other sourcely, locally sourced wood, I should say. And we hope to be able to present these to you in person in the autumn, but if not, the trophies will be posted to your school or to your youth group in the new year. So don't worry, you will get them. So you can show them off then with all your friends and your family. You'll also receive a winner's certificate by email, so don't forget to check in with your mentor to get your own copy. The winners also will be listed on the website right after this show, along with the runners-up who received highly commended awards from our judges. So make sure you check out yea.ie when we're done here and share the news with everybody on your social media. Before we announce any of the awards, and I promise we are almost there in just a moment, we also want to say a huge well done to everyone for being selected as one of the 150 shortlist finalists of this year's Eco UNESCO Young Environmentalists Awards. As you heard, there were almost 500 entries, entries for the YEA this year, and that was actually a record breaker, which is just so inspiring and incredible to see. So you getting here today was no mean feat. Wherever you are, give yourselves a huge pat on the back. You should be really, really proud of yourselves. We'd like you to know that we'd like to recognize the achievement of each group. So every group who makes it to the semi-finals will receive a native Irish tree specially delivered to them courtesy of our sponsors, Culture, in recognition of your work when school opens in the autumn. So thank you, Culture. Big shout out to you guys. So without further ado, let's get into the awards. So starting with the energy category, and we'll begin with the runner up for this award. The runner up for the Senior Energy Award is Jesus and Mary Secondary School in Sligo with their project Atlantic Wave Energy, its ups and downs. Congratulations guys. The winning project here stood out for its originality and strong knowledge. Their issue was selected to be discussed in the Dahl Committee rooms during RTE Youth Assembly. And the project perfectly summarizes the drive and ambition young people have today so they can be advocates for change. This award goes to, and the winner for the energy category is, the young people from Black Rock College in Dublin with their extremely impressive project, Data Centres, actions to raise awareness and preempt the growth strain on energy, infrastructure, and related emissions. Congratulations, guys. You should be so proud of yourselves. Hi, my name's John. And I'm Connor. And, and we're committed, committed to raising awareness about rapidly increasing power consumption by data centres and how we can slow climate change by influencing politicians to enact policy to incentivize and require sustainable data centers. And to engage and further, further educate industry members and corporations about their ethical obligations and the financial and environmental benefits of building and running data centers with responsible strategies for software, hardware, architecture, heating and cooling, and energy management systems. <laughs> Next up, we're going on to the water category. Straight to the winner here, a really passionate group who took great efforts to save the earthworms from grey water. The winner of the Junior Water Award 2020 is the grey area within grey water. Mary Immaculate Secondary School, Liston Varna in County Clare. Congratulations, guys. I'm Alice. And I'm Emily. This year, we took part in the Young Scientist and we did a project on the grey water and the effect it has on the soil, specifically the earthworms. We found that the earthworms could not live in soils treated with this grey water and we found this really interesting so we've decided to dive deeper into this topic. We started by educating the classes in our school and we made, we're making a website and we're doing an interview with the Clare Champion to educate people about the effect of grey water on the earthworms. In the senior category for the Water Award, we have one runner-up. That is the Sea Saviours from New Park Comprehensive in Dublin. And the winner of the 2020 Senior Award is a group who wasn't afraid to get their legs wet in a massive ongoing river cleanup. The fabulous river cleanup by the Carlo Regional Youth Service. Congratulations. Last July, we built a floating net that was based on the River Burn here in Carlo. This net was made up of two old football nets, over 25 meter bottles and 25 beach balls. It was designed to float on top of the river so it would not interfere with any inhabitants. 
We're also, pro we're also promoting a project through newspaper articles, radio interviews, and social media. We maintain the net through the months of July and August, removing rubbish weekly. In total, we removed... Nearly 100 plastic bottles. Over 50 glass bottles. Over 100 cans. Over 150 miscellaneous pieces, such as lighters, footballs, tablet packs, and styrofoam. In total, we removed over 400 pieces of trash from the river. So next up we're going on to the Biodiversity Award and run the runner-up runner for the Junior Biodiversity Award 2020 are Flower Power KDYS from the KDYS Youth Service in Kerry with their amazing projects. Now the winning group were so knowledgeable and they put that knowledge into action and produced a fantastic bee friendly place for others to learn from their work as well. The winners are be Gone If We Don't Act Now from Mount Carmel Secondary School in Dublin. Massive congratulations on a really fantastic project. Now, there were so many entries for this award, and the runner-up for the Senior Biodiversity Award 2020 are The Bee Cove from Mercy College Dublin and Quibnu Blohana Fian Naherin from Kalashta Niav Owen in Galway. Congratulations. So the winners of this group did a lot of work and got the rest of the school on board too to create a space for outdoor learning and for biodiversity. The winners of the Senior Biodiversity Award is Biodiversity Back in the Park by New Park Comprehensive Dublin. We want to show you a bit of what we've been up to here in New Park, so let's go see our wormery. We set up this wormery to help reduce waste from our school and also create fertile compost that we could use for our garden. Two of us went out every week to this box. We used old food that was within the school and we also did soil rotation. Now let's go to the garden. A few of us went out each week and we worked really hard on the garden. It was fun seeing the garden progress, but it also is a process that will take a while. Next up, we are moving on to our Eco Health and Wellbeing Award. The winner of the Junior Award in this category is this really heartwarming project where the young people worked very closely with elderly members of their community. The winning project that really brought a tear to many of the judges' eyes is the Ballinar Screen Intergenerational Project from St. Columns High School in Derry. It's not <laughs> <laughs> No, mine's pop. They taught us so much things that we never could think of before. Then we'd be like saved, then we'd be on set. I'm usually not going with the ones as well. All for all. All for all. For the Senior Eco Health and Wellbeing Award, the runners up are the Super Sense Sensory Garden from Loretto High School in Bray in Wicklow, and this really thoughtful project continually so for the soul from St. John Bosco Community College in County Clare. Now it's time for the winner of the Senior Eco Health and Wellbeing Award 2020. This group's commitment to creativity and visible passion for the causes behind their projects, mental health, environment, environmentalization, really shone through their entry. A huge congratulations to Me Bags with their intelligent approach to mental health from Crumlin Youth Reach in Dublin. Congratulations. Hi, we're from Cumberland New Reach and we're working on a project called Me Bags, which is basically environmentally friendly me bags that also focus on mental health. A me bag is basically a mental health and environmentally friendly bag, which is these little things, or you can have these type of bags, which are hoodie bags, which is the most popular at the moment. The bags contain homemade products such as lip balms, scrubs, face masks and these wax candles. Basically you also get um, a little bit of help inside your me bag and this has stuff such as colouring, uh, feel good podcasts, feel good shows, a mood tracker and also includes stuff such as word puzzles and different activities to get in touch with your emotions. Okay, now we're getting on to our Eco Community Development Awards. 
We just won winner here and the winner of the Junior Eco Community Development Award goes to this group that really got to grips with the SDGs and was determined to leave nobody behind. They designed an app to connect homeless people with the services they need and with people who want to give them. The Clahans Hill team turned from County Mayo, H4H, H, help the homeless. Hi, we're H4H, for H, help for homeless. Our app is designed to help you do just that. Our team chose to make an app to help the homeless because homeless is fast becoming an epidemic in Ireland. Every day there is another sad headline in the media. The app is designed to work in two ways, one for people to help the homeless and the other for homeless people to seek help. And now for the Senior Eco Community Development Awards, we have the runners up. Young people from St. Joseph's in Navan with their socially minded project period and Moat Community School from Westmead with their beautiful project Moat Sensory Garden. Now finally the winner of the 2020 Senior Eco Community Development Award goes to the extremely well-rounded project whose aim is to get climate groups into every school in Ireland. Big congratulations to the Climates from Skolmuller Bunkana. Eco Art and Design Award. In this category we have only a senior award but we had two extremely strong contenders for the top base. Both projects were strikingly imaginative. The runner-up and highly commended goes to the Patrician Academy activists from Patrician Academy in Cork. And finally the winners in this category highlighted the far-reaching effects of fast fashion via several dynamic avenues of Squelga. Congratulations to UCCL from Collage de Kosh Life in Dublin. Hi guys. Hi guys! I'm Abby. I'm Alva. And I'm Aoife. And this is our project, UCCL. UCCL stands for Uskursal Collage Kosh Liva, which translates to Upcycling Collage Kosh We saw a problem with fast fashion in our community and we wanted to inspire change in young people. Fast fashion has a big impact on the environment and we wanted to lessen problems that are there. We did this through holding a workshop for first year home ec students where we made scrunchies with them. Next up we have the Eco Innovation Award. And let me tell you there were some really seriously original and forward thinking ideas in this category. The runners up for the Junior Eco Innovation category were Collage de Don Henri from Cabin with their creative chicken feathers for insulation. Fox Rock Paris Youth Club for their Dublin with their innovative app design, Coin the Planet. And Mount St. Michael's from Claire Morris and Mayer with their fabulous project, Beekeepers What's Buzzing. And finally, the winner of the Junior Eco Innovation Award goes to a project that was a real favorite of the judges. They were so passionate about their product idea. They compared it with what was available on the market and thought they could already do better. The judges were impressed with how they developed their product, tried and tested different prototypes, and even got feedback from the public to improve it. It looks like they might have a real business on their hands. Are you ready to tumble protecting oceans from microplastics and laundry from students in Sandy Mount Educate Together, Dublin? It looks like you could have something very special on your hands here. For the Senior Eco Innovation Award, the runners up were Kalashta and Spitted Neve from Cork with their incredibly well researched project, Cycle of Life the use of heat produced by decaying plant materials and organisms to create the rate of germination in plant life and Kalashta Mura Mulanga with their project Flood Assist. And the winner for this inspiring Balbrigan duo created an ingenious solution to the problem of plastic waste in hospitals. We all know that hospitals generate so much plastic waste, so this was a really, really interesting topic and research, and the detail that went into this project was really, really interesting and impressive. 
So a massive congratulations. Using Kydesan to create a biodegradable, antimicrobial plastic alternative to aid in the reduction of plastic waste in hospitals by young people from Loreto Secondary School, Balbriggan. Congratulations. Plastic is a really controversial topic. It can take hundreds of years to break down into smaller pieces in the ocean. Thus, marine animals can end up consuming the plastic, which is really bad for them. So we decided to use Kaidasan, which is an organic compound, to create a plastic that's both biodegradable and antimicrobial for use in hospitals. So uh, we tried six modifications of Kaidasan plastic, and we found that one of our plastics actually had minimal water absorption, had a, it had the t same tensile strength of plastics that are used nowadays, even more, and still killed um, pathogens. So we hope that we can implement this plastic into use in hospitals and um, as a result reduce um, plastic waste that comes from hospitals. Now we have come to the waste category and we just have one winner. This group demonstrated how the small and very necessary actions we take in schools and communities can have a really big effect. And the winner is Van the Bubble from St. Michael's Holy Face Secondary School in Dublin. What is this? This is the amazing new reusable water bottle. Amazing for the environment and super cheap. Ban! Ban! Ban the! Ban the! Ban the bottle! 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 Oh no 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 plastic! Oh no 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 plastic! Waste was hotly contested in this senior category this year. With a lot of fantastic energy generated, especially around plastic and waste from the fashion industry, for the senior waste category, we have four runners ups and I'm gonna go through them right now. First is Comp Goes Green from St. Patrick's Comprehensive School in Clare. The County Cleanup Scheme from St. Angela's Secondary School in Waterford. The Plastic Plague by St. Joseph's Secondary School in Westmeath and The Real Price is Consumer Choice, examining the effects by textile, dye and chemicals from landfill clothing and introducing a waste tackling clothing initiative by St. Mary's Secondary School in Macroom and Cork. A massive well done on some really, really excellent projects. I know that some of the judges had a really, really tough time with this particular category. It looks like it was a really big one. So the winning group for the senior waste category showed the importance of bringing the whole community of the journey with them to turn small actions into big and it's clear that this group worked tirelessly to achieve their goals and with their creative video it looks like they had a lot of fun while doing it. The Young Reducers by Young People from Davis College Mallow in Cork. Congratulations. It's time for a change. It's time for a new generation. It's time to make a difference. I sign a contract. Patisa move over. Ya firmo el contrato. Signé el contrat. Je signe le contrat. Signé le contrat. The young producers. The young producers. Now for the big one, climate change. This was a really competitive category. The runner up for the 2020 Junior Climate Change Award is How Green Are Your Groceries? St. Andrews College 20Y Dublin. The winning group who completed an enormous array of impressive actions that bowed the judges over was Youth Climate Activism in SCC from Skull Community College in Cork. This is our school. Here at Skull CC, we are really committed to a sustainable future. These are the steps we're taking for a more environmentally friendly school. Planting trees. Forming the Young Environmentalist Group. Having our own climate march. Cleaning up our local beaches. Made various things for our wildlife. Including hedgehog boxes, bird boxes and even a bug hotel. Wow, that is amazing and so impressive. <laughs> Runners up and close contenders all the 2020 Senior Climate Change Awards are Climate Change in the Midlands by Tullamore College in Offaly, 
Has Climate Change Education Gone Too Far by Kinsale Community College in Cork? And The Global Gang from Castle Island Community College in Kerry. And finally, the winner of the 2020 Senior Climate Change Award goes to an extremely ambitious project that set out to make radical changes for their, for their school to make it more sustainable. Self-Sustainable Sam from St. Brendan's College in Kerry. Given the competition this year, you can, barely, you can be really, really, really proud of yourselves. It was a really tough one. Hello, and welcome to St. Brendan's College. My name is Casper, and I'm the director of our Climate Action Group here. Our name is Self-Sustainable Sam. Our main goal is to make our school one that is self-sustainable and climate-friendly. This is our team. Hi, my name is Nathan Hello, my name is Jason. I'm Nancy Paul. Hi, my name is Raj. Hi, my name is Rob. And we're the self-sustainable set. Again, with such tough competition, congratulations on a really fantastic achievement. You should all be so proud of yourselves for making it here today. So that brings me to the end of the specific category awards, but stay tuned as there are lots more to come. I know that your super juniors must be on the edge of your seats, but don't worry, I'm coming to you very, very soon. So hold tight and sit tight. Before we get there, we thought we'd have a little bit of fun. For the first time ever, you were asked to submit a video with your project and we've seen clips from them already. The judges loved your video offerings and they've selected some of their favorite clips for you to enjoy at home. So, let's get into it. Well, it looks like you guys had so much fun doing that, so I hope you enjoyed making it as well. Now we're on to our special awards and the overall awards. Now don't forget to be sharing all of your winning reactions online with us by tagging us on social media or by using the hashtag EcoWeek2020. We, do, we just want to see your happy faces and just see what you're up to at the moment and if you're delighted if you're winning. Also want to remind you that the special Eco Unisco 30 day challenge starts tomorrow. So keep an eye on their website and social media for details for how to take part. Now it's the Special Achievement Further Growth Award. This is an award that Eco Unisco considers especially prestigious and the Further Growth Award is dedicated to the projects that have been showing ongoing commitment to their Eco Action Project by building on work during last year's awards. The winner of the Further Growth Award 2020 goes to this beautiful project that promoted engagement with nature. It was particularly heartwarming to see this group and ensuring that the young adults with disabilities in their community could also avail of this experience. Moat Sensory Garden from Moat Community School in Westmeath, a huge congratulations. The garden has been in development since spring 2015. 
Use the joint venture between transition your students and more community skills. Service users in St. Hilda's Moat, along with volunteers and community and enterprise workers in the park. It has many features, including planters to simulate each of the senses, touch, smell, sight, hearing and taste, as well as a butterfly garden and a water feature. This year we are working with pollinators to help the plants spread their seeds and to give the bees and insects foods. We are also working on a sentry path. This will consist of seven or eight different materials and people will have to walk through barefoot to try and identify the materials. That's just great and we look forward to hearing all about the project continues next year. Our next special award is given to a project that has shown that they have really understood the global nature of the environmental issues. They have paid particular attention to how their chosen issues feature globally and how they can impact that issue locally. They have thought about cause and effect on how global systems is interconnected. So it is my absolute pleasure, the winner of the Local to Global Award 2020 goes to an extremely deserving project whose goal was to start a conversation and change attitudes at a local level with a global issue. Climate change in the Midlands from Tullamore College in Offaly, brilliant and well done on an amazing project. Agriculture is the single biggest emitter of greenhouse gases in Ireland. And in order to reduce this, we have to eat less meat and opt for locally produced vegetables. In order to save our planet and humanity, we must take action. We have to reduce our carbon emissions to a point where we cannot extract any more of the fossil fuels in the ground than we already have. This is our YEA group Climate Change in the Midlands. We wanted to raise awareness and initiatives surrounding the issue of climate change. We chose this issue because we noticed a general ignorance towards the issue within the community. The Mentor Award recognises outstanding YEA project mentors who go above and beyond to encourage and support young people in their eco actions. We put out a call to know who you'd like to, us to celebrate as a Mentor of the Year for 2020. We got a huge amount of responses, it was really beautiful. And I know your mentors will be delighted by all the lovely things that you've said about them. This year, the Mentor of the Year goes to... Once again, a huge thank you on behalf of all of you and us at Eco UNESCO for all the tremendous support the project mentors give. Now we've reached the People's Choice Award. This is a really special category where all the power is in your hands. It's down to the public. We want to stress that absolutely no judges were involved in this process at all. The competition here was fantastic. So I'm delighted the winner of the 2020 People's Choice Award of votes. You can feel so proud to have received so much public support. Well done. Before we announce the super junior winners and overall junior senior winners, and I promise I'm coming to you very, very soon, I promise, I promise. We have a really quick announcement and reminder. Everybody who doesn't receive an award today, we hope you enjoyed the show and enjoyed working on this project with all your friends to all make the world a better place. All of you give yourselves a huge pat on the back and be really proud of yourselves. You will receive a certificate for your hard work and participation via email next week and a beautiful Irish native tree through the post with thanks to culture. Now, I know this is a moment you've all been waiting for and you've been so patient, Super Juniors. This year, we had a huge array of fantastic entries and the judges were so impressed by your enthusiasm and the amount of time and energy that you put into your projects. They all deserve to be highly commended. That is what the judges told me and they really wanted you to know that because this year, because of the amount of entries and the very high standards, we will now announce three prizes in this category. Gold, silver and bronze and you'll have an overall winner. First, let's hear a very highly commended projects. Good Reason to Eat in Season from Snee National School in Kerry, St. Joseph's Arkham Trees Team from St. Joseph's in County Mayo, on show for their very innovative Walking to School app from Skoll Mudder in County, sorry, in Sandy Mountain, Dublin, and Micro Algae, a potential environmental superhero from Drumla in National School in Cork and Frana Farms from Francis Street School in Dublin. You guys are fantastic. So now I will announce the Bronze, Silver and Gold Award followed by the Overall Award. <sighs> Let's get into it. 
The Super Junior Bronze Award goes to a group that took great initiative to improve recycling in their school. So a massive well done to you guys. St. Brendan's Recycling Station by the pupils of St. Brendan's National School in Dublin. The Super Junior Silver Award goes to a group whose creative recycling made furniture for their schools. Stools for Schools by St. Thomas Senior National Dublin National School Dublin. And the Super Junior Award Gold Award goes to pupils in Cork with a passion for fertilizer. What is the best organic fertilizer to grow grass by the pupils of Timberley National School in Cork? Congratulations, guys. Now we've come to the biggies, the YEA overall awards. First, the overall Super Junior Award. This project started a year ago and since they have made a radical impact on their local canal, getting of carry involved it seems, cleaning it up, installing cameras, raising 4,000 euro towards the implementation of CBIN. Guys, your project has gained mega momentum and we want to say a massive congratulations to brothers Evan, Alex, Dylan and Kerry for their canal cleanup project. For the 2020 Young Environmentalists Award, the overall junior winner goes to a project that we already heard a lot about. Are You Ready to Tumble by Seria Boisia and Greta Whipple from Sandy Mount Park Educate Together Secondary School in Dublin. Wow, it must feel so fantastic to be such a big winner today. A huge congratulations to you girls. Massive achievement. And now it is time for the overall senior winner for the Young Environmentalists Awards 2020. The overall senior award goes to this really fantastic and enthusiastic group who got their whole community going. And did you know they even persuaded star of the Young Offenders, Demi Isaac Oviowe, to get involved with their campaign. Young Reducers from Davis College Mallow in Cork. Congratulations, guys. We're so proud of our school, Davis College, for our curriculum and academic successes for creativity, positivity and individual people in our school. But unfortunately, there's more than one young offender in here. It's time for a change. It's time for a new generation. It's time to make a difference. The Young Producers! Oh my gosh, what an amazing program. The Young Environmentalists Awards are that and it's because of you. Congratulations to all of you, to all of the winners, but also to all of you who stood up and took action. You should be really proud of yourselves and I really can't say that enough. All I can say is to keep going. The world needs you. Thanks to everyone at Eco UNESCO, our judges, our guest speakers, your mentors and our sponsors. We wish you all well. Last reminder that the Eco UNESCO are launching a 30 day challenge tomorrow. Log on to their website or keep an eye on their social media to find out more and all the details you need to know for that. And don't forget that there are more events that for Eco Week later this afternoon for the mentors and tomorrow for everyone. So I hope you've had a really fab afternoon. Don't forget to share all of your happiness and all of your love online on social media and tag us on social media and hashtag Eco Week 2020. I look forward to seeing you all in person for YEA 2021. Big love and thank you so much for having me today. Talk to you soon.